Hi there, today we're going to be talking about how to replace a built-in sound card in your PC. My name is Steve and this is TQA Weekly and this will be mostly applying to computer towers and mostly to sound cards, but I would just like to point out that some of this does actually transfer over to laptops and doesn't necessarily have to be restricted to sound cards. This can work for other parts in your computer, except for the principal portions of a computer like your processor. So we all have to deal at some point with hardware failure when it comes to our devices. And hopefully, hopefully, it's one of these add-ons to your main board that doesn't actually brick the entire main board completely. Since a lot of us are capable of simply replacing some of this hardware with add-ons. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. What to do about failed hardware, how to diagnose it, things that we could do to diagnose it, and what to do to replace it. And we're going to be focusing on a sound card because the question of origin has to do with sound cards. The first thing you're going to want to do if any hardware in your main board fails for any reason whatsoever is to basically uninstall the driver disable it inside the computer, do a power cycle, close it, turn it back on, reinitialize the hardware, so turn it back on and see what happens. Does it remain broken? Does it actually stop working? Because even the microphone here at the beginning of my episode did the same thing that Windows does often, which is tell you something's broken when it's not true. So unplug it, uninstall the drivers, turn the computer back on, reinstall the drivers and see what happens. Is it still broken? And does this continue to be true if you do it a couple of times? If it never comes back, then what you're going to want to do is to go back into your BIOS and turn it off and leave it off permanently. Just consider it dead. It's dead real estate on your main board and as long as the BIOS has that turned off, nothing will address it anymore. And any PCIe lanes that were dedicated to that are gonna be transferred somewhere else. It is basically turned off and that's it. What do you do from this point on? If we're talking about a main board and you have spare PCIe lanes on your main board, and we're using the example of a sound card, get another sound card and here's a cool trick. When you plug in the new sound card, not only are you going to be able to connect your sound system or whatever it is to the back of that sound card, but the majority of decent sound cards also have a portion for the front head connectors for your chassis. Meaning that if you were connecting to the front of your computer, you don't immediately lose those functions at all. So in this case, you'll be able to reuse the front of your computer and have a new area for the back of your computer. The neat thing about being able to turn off different things in your computer and exchanging it for add-on cards is that not only are you not limited to the hardware available by your main board, but sometimes you can get a lot better hardware just doing that. Because the sound that comes off a main board is not necessarily great. So you can Treat it as though it's trash, turn it off, and add something better. Or this can be the solution for something that eventually breaks. And this does work for other add-on cards in your computer. Now I want you to keep this in mind, that if you're using a smaller form factor device and something like that breaks, and we're talking about an operating system like Windows or Linux or Mac or any of that, you can use a USB option as well meaning that you are never without any possibility of replacing what has now broken, meaning that you can, for the foreseeable future, hold on to that device instead of having it become e-waste in itself. And I hope that helps you figure out what to do when your sound card just doesn't work anymore. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, 
past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, head over to twitch.tv slash zaxis1981 where I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.